Now just to finish up the panel, I just have to ink Thunderbird up. And Thunderbird's a character, again, I'm not too familiar with. He, uh, he actually dies. Um, the issue after Giant Size X-Men number one. So I haven't actually had the opportunity to draw him before. I sort of know of him, but um, yeah, not too familiar with his uh, costume or anything. He's actually Native American, so um, he's got the feathers going on his uh, on his headband, and he's actually got all these uh, sort of Native American uh, trimmings, sort of the the strips of ribbon sort of coming off his shoulders and. Um, on his boots, and of course a uh, a Thunderbird symbol on his uh, on his chest. So yeah, still using the point one eight, just tightening up his anatomy and uh, drawing in his costume. The good thing about the uh, sort of trimming on his boots and his shoulders is uh, it's really cool to draw that stuff uh, when the character's in motion it's sort of uh, have all those strips of ribbon sort of flying everywhere to indicate the motion and again with the point three five, just spotting in the blacks on his costume All right, just uh, back with my two more cotch pencil, just sharpening it up there. I'm just going to go and tighten in uh, this second panel with Colossus holding uh, Ileana's body. I actually prefer using a uh, two more cotch pencil over the uh, the clicking uh, mechanical pencils because you can actually sharpen the leads in uh, in the two more cotch pencil. So you still sort of get the, the the fine point if you want it. Though I, I don't tend to uh, sharpen too much when I'm uh, penciling. Uh, if I'm inking myself and I'm just doing these uh, loose pencils. But I prefer the uh, the clutch pencil over a regular pencil because obviously with a, a regular pencil when you get to the end after you've sharpened it right down you don't have much much wood left to uh, to hold onto while you're drawing so uh, the clutch pencil allows you to have the sort of the the pen holder obviously stays the same size and you just uh, sharpen the leads inside and you can just about use the whole lead So just tightening up the liana here. It's obviously got sort of different proportions of being a a lot younger than Colossus. And just using a kneaded eraser there just to uh, fix up my mistakes. I actually decided to throw in a uh, Ileana's Banff doll. She's got a little doll which looks like Nightcrawler that she's had pretty much since uh, she sort of uh, came to visit the team as a as a teenager. Not too long after this uh, Nightcrawler doll appeared. And although it wasn't actually in the script that I was given to draw this page, uh, I decided to throw it in because it was... Um, it was something the characters had for a while, and it was in the uh, the comic that this scene actually references. So, um, sort of imagine her sort of having it in as uh, in her death grip, sort of clutching clutching to it as she died. So, uh, and it's still sort of being in, in her hand, sort of falling to the ground just after Colossus Colossus uh, picks up her body and um, kneels on the ground with her. Now I've moved on to uh, inking this this panel now. I'm actually uh, 
using the coracle on this panel because uh, I, I do want a bit more variation in the in the line weights that I'm going to be putting down. It's going to be using a lot of shadow in this panel, so um, I don't want to have to keep swapping pens. So I still want a bit of control since it is still quite small figures. So I'm I'm going to use the uh, the crow quill, and you can see I'm going lighter on the lines, which are sort of closer to the light source, which is coming from behind. And I'm going heavier with the the line weights that are sort of on the opposite side in the shadows. So you you always when you're putting your line weights down you want to have um, heavier line weights for things that are in the foreground and also things which are um, away from the light source and lighter lines obviously on the light on the uh, the sides which are close to the light source and things which sort of recede into the background of the image. Again, you can probably see I'm making adjustments to the uh, to the pencil lines I've put down, just sort of uh, refining the drawing even more as I go inking. Again, those sort of lines on his uh, on his forearm, the plates on his forearm, sort of help to. Uh, Define which direction the uh, the limbs are going in, and define the form. That's it's always useful when you've got those sort of lines on the characters' costumes. Just uh, putting in some muscles and things. His body, his belt. Moving on to Uliana's hand now, in her arm. And just adding details with the frills and stuff on her arm. On her naughty. Tightening up her legs. And again, as you can see, I haven't I haven't still haven't done the panel borders on this on this panel. Uh, not in ink anyway, but I sort of got the the bottom of the panel sort of penciled in so I sort of know roughly where it is. Fixing up his uh, foot there. Just drawing in her hair now. Again, not too much detail going on in the in in the face uh, on such a small character, small drawing of a character. So, just hint at the nose and roughly where the eyes and the mouth are. Probably saw me uh, wiping off the the nib there on the edge of the bottle of ink. You don't want to load up the uh, 
the nib too much with too much ink because uh, if you put too much on the uh, inside the nib you can sometimes it can um, come out suddenly and can leave you with a, a huge uh, ink stain where you didn't want it to be a huge blob on the page so you want to have enough in there that you're not going back to the the ink well too many times but um, also not too much that you're gonna get uh, splotches coming all over your paper so I'm just gonna lay in the blacks here with the 0.7 repeater graph Just adding some more detail now into his arms, Colossus's arms, all those banding lines I was talking about. Again, help to define the uh, the form of his arms, and which direction they're actually going in. A bit more detail into his hands and stuff. I'm just going to spot some blacks in here with the uh, the point seven. A lot of this is in shadow, but I still I don't want to have it completely black. I want to have um, some of the the lines and stuff of his uh, arm and uh, costume sort of visible. filling the area on his head there. Again, more of the detail lines on his uh, skin, just with the 0.18. And spotting again the blacks with the 0.7. Just adding a bit more depth as well to Ilyana's um, night dress. I'm actually going to rule in the um, the side and the uh, top panel here. The side and the top of the panel borders. 